What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we are continuing with the RP series and this episode will finish off with our oasis by adding small palm trees and some quicksilver rocks from Mega Scans. It's gonna be very easy for you to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing they're going to do is import our palm trees. In this case, we are going to be using this free asset pack from the Unreal Marketplace. It is completely free, so I will be linking it in the description and we'll have access to some real nice looking little palm trees that we're going to be adding around our oasis. So what we need to do is open this in our Unreal Epic Game Launcher. So let's go ahead and do so. And now in our Epic Games Launcher, we can just click to add uh, into a project and you search our RPG series, select it and just click add to the project. And now we will wait a few seconds and it will import the asset pack into our project. All right, so you can see now it says add to project once again. That means that it has imported. So I can just close the Epic Games Launcher and we will see that we have a new folder in our project. If we go into the content and go and search for PN banana. As you can see, and inside of meshes, you will see that in plants, we have all of our palm trees, which looks amazing. So now what I am going to do is go into my main uh, desert uh, level. So let's go into levels and open up desert. And now we will need to start placing them. And here we go. We are loading the beautiful landscape that we have made with the lake for our oasis. And of course, we can repeat the same process that we are building uh, for the oasis in multiple parts of our level. So now what I am going to do is simply paint a bit around. Now, I am not going to be using PTG or Pursue uh, spawning systems because honestly, for literally a couple of trees around this little lake, I don't think it's necessary to build the whole PTG system. So, what we're going to do is go up into the uh, foliage tab, and now we're going to go into our PN banana folder. And inside of meshes, we can go into plants, and now we can select a couple of them, like for example, the first um, five, let's say, and use. Um, drag them into the foliage type over here and they will be added to our list in order to start to paint them And of course if you have not uh, compiled the shaders, they will start to compile now Okay, so now make sure that you have everything ticked and we are going to increase the brush size and Decrease heavily the paint density maybe into 0.1 now. Let's make one test as you can see when I uh, uh, <laughs> when I paint, we are having this uh, palm trees, but they are too many. Okay, there are too many. And also, maybe I want to change a bit the scale. Let's see. Yeah, there are also some of them. They're a bit sm too small. So I want to make them bigger. So let's go back. And this is just playing with values to get what you want. Uh, let's go back to our foliage uh, mode. Okay, and I'm going to just hold shift and left click to eliminate. And now I am going to select um, this last two and make the scale X around 3 to 3.5. And they will just be way bigger, as you can see, which is more of what I like. Now, maybe that's too big. OK, that is definitely too big. So maybe around uh, 1.7 and 2.3 will be a bit more convenient. Uh, let me just give this a go. And you'll see that now we indeed have a bit of a bigger palm trees, which looks pretty cool in only some of them. Uh, okay, so that's better. But of course, there is still a huge density. So let's select all of them. Okay, and we are going to go and manually decrease the density from 100, let's say to literally around five. And now you see that we have way less density and we can even put our pain density a bit higher overall and that's a bit better so let me decrease a bit the brush size and let me start to paint a bit over the borders and as you can see we start to get this beautiful uh, oasis right and if you go a bit of uh, into the water you just hold left um left uh, shift and you'll be a bit better but you can see that <laughs> we ended up with a real beautiful landscape now another thing to do is now drop the foliage to around 0 0.05 and i'm gonna place less on some of the edges and even i'm gonna leave some gaps um 
all right like this he's holding um you know left shift in order to leave some gaps also intentionally right and i think that this looks overall pretty nice let me uh, get a bit of rid over here right um that's a bit better and maybe get rid a bit of here right and just paint um some of them there we go and that definitely looks really good so make sure to save with ctrl shift s and i love how this is looking already this looks way nicer as you can see this looks very beautiful right i love how this looks now if we go and put the um actually let's do this later okay so first of all let's import the quixel mega scans rock that we will use okay so let's go up into the window and open up quixel bridge where we will be able to access all of the quixel uh, materials and rocks and whatever we need in this case uh, like we did on one of the last episodes when we added the, the sand material to the landscape make sure that you are locked in and what we are going to do is search in the search bar for uh, desert space rock okay and now if we hit enter you will see as it is taking time to load okay don't worry there we go um, we scroll a bit down you will see that we see some nice little rocks um, that we can use now it depends on your preference in my case I think I am going to go with this um, small sandstone rock I think it looks pretty cool and maybe this mud rock right uh, I think I'll use both of them okay combine them right so let's select this one in this case we can select the level of quality i'm gonna say nanite so we can have a full um quality asset and just press download and let's just wait a few seconds for this to download but now as you can see if we select it you can see now it has downloaded we have to take and now i can press the add button and it will import it there we go we have uh, the static mesh and the material instance so what we have to do is exactly the same for the mud rock so you select this select the quality in my case now and it will work you just press download it has downloaded so what i can do is uh, make sure to select the quality that you downloaded it with and now just hit add if i press add again as you can see i will navigate to my folder and here it is so now i can close this everything is imported and i can just go and add those rocks into the foliage tab so first of all let's select all of these and just disable them because we don't want to paint any of these and just get the first rock which will be the mud and drag it into here and we'll do exactly the same with the small sand stone just drag it and make sure that both of these rocks are enabled but the other uh, vegetation is disabled and of course later in the next um lake we could do all of them at once right uh but let's make the brush size a bit smaller uh, actually i think that hmm, well it's okay uh i pressed ctrl z so let's drag again the sandstone make this a bit bigger um and let's just go ahead and select this rocks and put the density around 10 and let's just see okay so we have a very big rock and okay there are another another one very small okay so i believe so okay let me just, uh, remove them the big rock is a bit too big i think it's the mud let, let me just uh, double check so i find and take the other one yeah so this is the big one okay let me take both in this case the the other one let me put it around 0.7 and just one overall okay to make it a tiny bit smaller and then the other one let's make it around 2.5 and 3 because it was well a bit too small as you can see now it's a bit better so let me go ahead and you start to paint around the edge okay once again the uh f in the foliage right of our rocks and it will add as you can see some nice touch into our environment and of course um, they're maybe too big to uh, join together so you can just basically maybe reduce a bit the size or just um hold left uh, shift and use left click and you will remove uh some of them right um that's a bit better and we can also maybe add a bit more of the uh, smaller ones right instead of uh, only big ones to add a bit of more uh, detail into the environment like so and this looks pretty nice i like how this looks so you can play around with your painting values and whatsoever to add 
how many you want but overall i think that looks it just looks beautiful right let me press play you'll see how nice this looks like uh, wow beautiful right now if i also go and go into the nanite visualization go into triangles you'll notice that only our rocks are using nanite so i think that we could try to do is to go into the um pn banana and of course your version has to be more than 5.1 for this but we are basically going to turn our vegetation to be compatible with nanite so let's go into meshes plants and also you see that we have props we have some bananas in the ground we could add those but i don't think well you know what let's add them but you wait a second so let's like this first five and you just go into nanite enable nanite you'll see that they disappear they're loading and um they will basically compile some shaders in a second uh but basically now the frame rate should go a bit better because well we're using nanite to render all the vegetation okay and let's also quickly go into props and in props i'm going to enable nanite in all of these okay and we are going to save and just go back into the landscape mode sorry not landscape but foliage disable uh the rocks right and let's just drag in the leaves and in this case let's paint some leaves as you can see oh that actually looks pretty nice so i'm only gonna do it in certain sections where we have quite a lot of uh foliage okay not in all of it but this actually does um let me just add maybe like one here here uh some lies uh, level detail okay that's pretty cool and now everything is with nanite so if i go into nanite triangles you can see that all the vegetation is also with nanite which can be pretty good or a bit bad for performance but overall i think that it will just make things look and run a bit nicer so that's it for this tutorial if you found it helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember that the project files are available in my patreon and youtube members so check them out join my discord server follow me on my socials and now yes with all i said bye bye